Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I have some Forza Motorsport 7 gameplay here. It is of the Forza Edition BMW M4. So the gameplay does belong to this person right here. He's a subscriber and he has been getting me some gameplays from Forza Motorsport 7 so I can upload it and do a bit of a commentary because he has the ultimate edition of Forza Motorsport 7 and I don't even have the game yet. I'm just getting the game on Tuesday. So I was like, can I have some gameplay please? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's pretty sound of it. He got me some gameplay, so thank you for that. I'll have about another one or two videos up in the next 24 hours or something of some more Forza Motorsport 7 gameplay. But today we do have a drift build of the BMW M4 Forza Edition. I keep going to say Horizon Edition because of Horizon Edition cars in Horizon 3, but I must remember that Forza Edition. So here we are, this does have a wide body kit on it, now I think you can only get wide body kits on the Forza Edition cars, that's what a few people have been saying, which I think, I don't know, there needs to be a lot of Forza Edition cars then, it's gone with the Forza tyres there, but I, I do think wide body kits, you should be able to throw them on whatever cars, not just the Forza Edition ones, but if it's like Horizon 3 then they need to add a lot more Forza Edition cars. Okay, so let's jump into some drifting gameplay of this Forza Edition BMW M4 now. Okay, so here we are on the track. I can't quite remember this track. I played it recently on Forza Motorsport 6 online. It was a very good track, and I know it's good for drifting. There's a lot of good turns. This M4 looks like it's handling very, very well. I didn't really do many drifting in Forza Motorsport 6 with a point system and that. Like, it is going up here. I've not really done that, but... I did a race on this track in multiplayer and I just thought this is going to be a good track to drift on on Forza Motorsport 7 and it is, look at that drift there, that is extremely good. That is why this track is so good, it's got so many good turns in it. So he's doing um, lap 1 of 5 here, taking it a bit wide there, you know if there was a wall there it would have been a, just a tap. But now I've got a long straight here, just cut that bit out, it's a bit boring. Now there is a like hair petty hit. Oh, what's he going for? He's going for a reverse entry, reverse entry. Yes, that, that was nice. He managed to hold that reverse entry there as well. That was very, very good. That was absolutely clean, really. That, that was absolutely brilliant. Right, he keeps going. There's some twisty corners up here which are just made for drifting. Look at these here. Like, if you can keep your skill score going, your like point score going around here, then that is extremely good. And he's doing it. Like, that's where you rack up points. See, this little section right here. Very, very nice. And then look at this corner. Look at that. Just just keeps the slide going, doesn't it? And then you've got this corner right here. He's on 12,000 points right now. 12,589. And he's just banked that. And some more great turns. This track is just amazing. It's got some, like, inclines as well where it goes up. And then it goes down. It's a very, very good track for drifting. And then another nice corner here goes onto a short straight. It's absolutely good. Forza Motorsport 7, I can feel a difference to Forza Motorsport 6. Oh, he's going for a 360. Can he hold it? Can he hold it? No. Oh, he spun out a bit there. He tried that 360. If he hadn't like, accelerated as hard, maybe he'd have pulled it off. But that was a good attempt at 360 there. Like I was saying before, that 360 happened. Forza Motorsport 7, I can see the difference in the game to Forza Motorsport 6, I can't quite explain it but I can tell that there's a difference there, and the menus just seem a lot cleaner on Forza Motorsport 7 than Forza Motorsport 6, so when I get this game on Tuesday it's going to be very fun, reverse entry, another reverse entry, ah that one wasn't as good, maybe did it a bit too early there. But he's on 37,249 at the moment and he's on lap 2. Let's go get, oh, here's a nice section if you can hold it, if you could hold that section around here, that is very nice. I definitely need to do some drift builds on this game, and he spam out there. But yeah, I didn't really do drifting on Forza Motorsport 6 or Forza Motorsport 5 either. I got into drifting more on Horizon 3, I never really did it in Horizon 2, but Horizon 3 I kind of got into it a lot more. I can't wait to do it on Forza Motorsport 7, it looks very, very fun. So, he, the first half of this lap, he did very, very well, but then he, he hasn't seemed to got as many points, but there's a nice corner here. Maybe he can get some points. Yes, he's doing well there. That was a very, very nice drift. Very, very nice that. So, he's on 43,000. This drift build of this M4, it's a good drift build. He's managing to hold the corners 
hold the drifts as well, so it's, it's a good drift build. He did a good build there. Now we're back along the straight. I love the text on tyres when you're going quick like that. The way it just looks, it looks brilliant. And is that dirt on the back of the M4? I think it is, like, dirt, tyre rubber, that sort of stuff. I don't think it was out at the beginning, was it? I'm not too sure. Nice little drift there again. So, yeah, he's keeping it going. Hold it through his corner. It'll do nice. Yes, there we go. Drifting on this game does seem to be quite good. Looks all, a lot more fun. But I heard something about there's not any multiplayer drift lobbies at the moment. I saw someone say that on Xbox. Like, on one of the... I, I don't know how I saw it. It's like on Xbox for a group or something. And apparently there's no drift lobbies to go and join in. Like, drift hoppers, whatever they're called. Apparently there's none of them at the moment. So, hopefully they get added in very soon. But yeah, if this is a Forza Edition BMW M4, I'm wondering... Did they not have number plates like in Forza Horizon 3 where that's how you tell it's a Horizon Edition car in that game? It's because of a number plate, it was black and gold instead of regular white. Is there none of that in this game? Like, how do I know that's a Forza Edition car? I know it probably is, but I, I don't know. Oh, it's due with the wide body kits. Maybe that's how you tell. If it's got a wide body kit, it's a Forza Edition. Maybe it's something to do with that. But anyway guys, this was a Forza Edition BMW M4 build and he just crashed his light there, his rear tail light, that's gone. Thank you to for this person right here, I can't quite remember your name recording this right now. But thank you for getting this gameplay for me. I'll have a Dodge Demon drag build out tomorrow as well, so stay tuned for that, it'll be good. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're around here. I'll leave a link down below to the guy's Twitter, so go follow him, that sort of stuff. But yeah, until next time guys, peace out.